How's it going, everybody? Welcome to episode three of the Petty Foggers podcast. We've just became into the spooky season of October, and thus we have started playing spooky games. This week we've started out with Phasmophobia, which we played along with the Raven Paradox, one of our friends from the community, who decided to jump in and join us. Uh, did we argue throughout the game? Did we get freaked out? Of course. Uh, but we've been going uh, along this entire season, playing more and more spooky games as we go through October. So, without further ado, uh, can you explain the game to us? Lol. Yeah, uh, no. No, because I'm really still not quite sure what I was doing in the game, to be honest. Uh, you, you're supposed to be able to work out which kind of paranormal activity, creature, ghost the thing is in the house by using multiple pieces of equipment. Um, but as you'll probably tell from our opinions maybe later on, I'm not sure that we still know what any of that equipment done did or whether it worked. Um, done did. Done did. Done did. Done did. It just explains how I feel about the game, to be honest. My brain is a little bit frazzled. Fair enough. Pierce, would you like to uh, start us off here? Yeah, I'll explain the game since most <laughs> clearly doesn't know how. <laughs> Um, so you start the game in the back of a van with some equipment and you're outside a haunted house and there is some kind of paranormal activity going on in the house. You need to use the equipment in the van to go into the house and find out what type of ghost it is that's, that's running amok. So and, what I uh, said, that is you exactly didn't, you what didn't I say, said. You didn't say any of this. The one thing I thought I can remember from your intro there, lot was done did. Yeah, equipment. That's the only word you <laughs> said that was the done same did as mine. Done good. <laughs> um, so yeah, you need to use this equipment to figure out what ghost is in this house and work as a team, which I tried to do. <laughs> no! <laughs> and you, you two fuck? just messed around. No. Oh my time. god. Piers just Jeez. spent the whole time trying to sabotage us. Mm. And so causing implies he didn't do it, he massively done it. <laughs> I am surprised if Bells will ever play a game with uh, peers again. I mean, after well, that. Yeah, that level of cooperation, never yeah. again. I think never again. The issue with me is very much like Lowell's. I didn't understand what was happening, mm -hmm. and my attention very quickly turned to <laughs> what buttons can I press? <laughs> Um, which which happened to be the light switches that you already turned on. Mm -hmm. I was more than happy to turn those off. <laughs> As the only man with, we, we should we should probably explain. One, we have played Phasmophobia before, right? We have we haven't played it since the major patch update, which added level progression to equipment. Therefore, we're coming into it fresh again, as if it's a brand new game. However, we played the old game. No, that doesn't oh, mean hang on. That we don't have a. I've never played it. Ever. Fair enough. Lull's never played it. Pierce and I are experts, so. so I played uh, eight hours before this week. <laughs> and I think I've, I had six. Yeah. But what, what I'm trying to explain is like, we have opinions. We have opinions from because we played the game before and after this patch level progression uh, that's been added into the game, uh, which puts a lot of different equipment past a level blocker, different maps are put behind a level blocker that you might have been able to access before. Um, but yeah, so just by no means are we experts in the game. You know, if you've got 200, 300 hours of playing the game, you know, this is just our opinions from a first try out experience, you know? Yeah. And um, yeah, it, so the latest update that came into Phasmophobia was the full release of the game, right? It's mm -hmm. been in Beta still in early or... access, actually. I checked that still recently. Still in early it's access. Still in early access on Steam. That's probably That's a, a good patch. thing. <laughs> it's a patch. They've done a patch level with this. We're originally going to do in two parts. They've now split it into three parts. Um, or it might be vice versa. You know. But it's basically to, that the first part was added in. It's the, uh, you know, to add in the level progression. Put equipment behind the level progression walls. So yeah. It is, you know, I mean, I still, I've never seen a game that's gone through such a major update that has made it so much worse than it already was <laughs> um i remember playing the game 
maybe 18 months, like two years ago was the, the time that I actually played um, for eight hours. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was pretty good. Like, stuff worked. You could get through the game without having to go through any workarounds or anything. But yesterday, the, we ran into a few issues. The main one was PS. audio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? This was definitely an audio an, an issue. <laughs> well, yeah. So yeah, the main issue we, we ran into immediately was we couldn't use the in-game voice chat. It was just not working. Nope. We tried a few different things. People's microphones just kept lows. At one point, you sounded like you were underwater. But I, I also... It sounded like it was really far away at one point. I had, like, the audio working at one point, made no changes, didn't even go yeah. into the menu. I was clicking the same buttons to to yeah. do voice activation, and it just stopped working. And I didn't realize you guys couldn't hear me. I was so concentrated on fixing my audio that I didn't even ne- realize that it was Piers turning the lights off that whole game. <laughs> See, I, I, I feel like and that's, that's something that is a bit of a, an issue when it comes to, for us, like, gameplay going in it's like you you had a lot of time like easily the first 20 30 minutes was spent you just trying to get audio working me and pierce could kind of hear each other fine but yeah. you would you could hear you from time to time you could then hear you then you were gone again in this time you're meant to be progressing through so like and obviously it's one of the main things you have to speak in game to do it what was the spirit box where you can ask the, you learn the name of the ghost, you request them to speak to you through the spirit box because it's in-game chat. And, and you when you talk in-game as well, then I think that triggers the ghost to start mm-hmm. hunting you and stuff like that. So yeah. we we then had to sort of resort back to just using Discord calls, yeah. um, which yeah. sort of take, took away from the game a little bit. It takes you out of that environment. It's quite fun using the walkie-talkies and the proximity chat. Because then, obviously, if someone walks away, you can hear them less and less, and that's always funny to me. I don't know what it is about proximity chat, but I, it does make me laugh. Um, so that that sort of took away from the game a little bit. So that was the first issue we ran into. Um, in terms of bugs in the game, I don't. I think that was the only one really. Um, but, um... I, the one one thing that frustrated or or confused me was um, part of the game you had to tick away at. Um, pieces of evidence and so if the spirit box worked you could tick to say the spirit box worked and then Mm. as you ticked different things that worked it would um, gradually point you towards a particular type of ghost that this this ghost was Um, but we just the only time we ever got it right was an absolute fluke guess by peers in the first round (laughs) you guessed (laughs) Don't look like that. You guessed you exactly what the ghost was. You absolutely was. guessed, and but there, there was instances where we were like, we left the notebook, for example, yeah. for the ghost to write in, so that we could see if the ghost would do ghost writing. And at the end, it would say, "Oh, it was that particular ghost." And when you look at it, it says, "Does ghost writing?" I was like, "Did it write a single thing in the notebook?" No. To be fair, once we 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 did place, I think that's we a did place issue. the notebook. Yeah, like we we placed we placed the book down, and basically nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing was written in the book. Whereas before, you would have had a fairly quick response to that. I don't know whether they've changed that, so it's not as concurrent. Oh. You know, um, there's also like there's different things as well that are now behind like the wall, uh, the progression wall, which is the likes of like crucifixes you can't buy them incense you can't buy them different things like a crucifix is obviously used to prevent a demon attacking you you throw a crucifix on the ground it can save you whereas um now that's all behind a paywall and obviously you have to grind to achieve that whereas before the update you had access to all that you know um i don't know there's different features as well where you know, the ghosts can obviously, they can start a car alarm, which is annoying. They can turn off the lights. But really, you never know if that's actually a ghost or Pierce just uh, absolutely messing about with you. Also, a ghost has broken my camera. <laughs> it's so <interesting. laughs> I've noticed. I was oh, trying have to the lights turned so off, Pierce? Has the well, lights turned off? What would be off? good is if you stopped talking so I could fix it, and then we could just make a nice edit. <laughs> the ghosts of asthmophobia are... Um... Oh, they, they... They're like, how dare you talk? 
Oh. Robbie's came back. Hey. Pierce. hey. He's back. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie came chasing after you into the real we're, world. Uh, we're back to giving the people what they want, which mm. is my face. Oh, welcome back, Piers. Thank you. Okay, we can crack on again now, and then we can just... Yeah. Chop to here. <laughs> um, my, uh, another major issue you had yourself, Pierce, was the purchasing of equipment. Now, I have a few things to say. You had equipment, right? Everyone had one of everything for the first on the first map. If you were in a solo, we game, we had one of had everything one... that you could access from the beginning, like yes, but which but was about noticed, five things. When you go into a multiplayer map, you don't bring your utensils with you. So what we discovered very quickly in the first game was, ah, we only have one torch between three people, and Pierce had it, to which me and Lol were blind for that entire game. Pierce. Yep. Yeah, I was I was the expert, so I needed it. I had the most hours in the game, which was like eight point two. So obviously, saying, follow me, guys, follow me. Come on, Piers just I, needed the torch. My flashlight off and run away. Yeah, <laughs> Piers yeah. just needed the torch to navigate and turn off the power where he could. Yeah. And that that is it's also when you're in the room, he click off the lights as you turn them on. Keep yeah. just clicking them off. Just click on, close the door, and walk away. <laughs> so this, yeah, yeah, but like the reason I did this was. Partly because it's just who I am as a person, but hundred percent, yeah. Because we, there wasn't anything for us to do. We only had like <laughs> one of each thing, mm -hmm. and there, the, I don't know what it was, but it was just really difficult to figure anything out because we had one dot projector, we had one notebook. And then we had a video camera, which I don't think really told us anything. Uh, I, I did use the we've. I think we found orbs twice with that video camera. Yeah. So okay. it and did, we had, it and then we had a glow stick. Yeah. So it was sort of like we found a handprint with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying UV, is, once UV, once um, you've used it and you've figured it out, that's all you do. So you go, okay, yeah, yeah we've got the UV handprint, and then there's like two or three pieces of equipment left. The notebook yeah. you just put on the ground. So if you two are already using the video camera and the the dot projector i've got nothing to do but so but it was lock because, doors on us and yeah and have fun because <laughs> the the game itself just isn't fun so what you're telling me pierce is you you weren't trolling us at all what you were doing was content creation <laughs> yeah it was good content for me mm -hmm. yeah, it yeah it was it, all all you could hear from us was Piers giggling like evilly. Yeah. Bell saying, Fuck you, Piers. Stop it, Piers. And me saying, Can you hear me, guys? Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Could, we couldn't hear you. We, no idea. <laughs> yeah. We had no idea. Yeah, generally, uh, for is... the first game, I didn't know that you were having sound issues. I was just enjoying the silence. I just assumed you were concentrating. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> you, and then the first thing you said was, I, I, What have you changed in your menu, Lowell's? I was yeah, like, I nothing. Was an issue with you. And but, with hmm. the menu, with the adding stuff to the shop, I had witnesses see me click the, the plus and then pressing add on the side, and it yeah, still didn't so, go in. Yeah, so getting back to that, I know Bell's touched yes, on it. Yes. But um, yeah, I've never seen something that is so the opposite of user friendly. It used to be easier. I'm telling you, before that... Oh, it was so it was easy. So much easier. Yeah, yeah. Aye. But yeah, so... I can't. I still don't... I wouldn't be able to go on there now and know how to do it. But I was just shouting at the screen. Luckily, Raven sort of knew what was going on. So after yeah. about five minutes of trying to calm me down, managed to talk <laughs> me through how to add stuff. But it, yeah, it really was not user-friendly. So and... To explain to people, right, to buy now... It used to be you just... Buy an item, you buy as many as you want, and that was it. You added it to the truck. Now, if you click on the picture for the item you want to buy, say a torch, instead of like taking you to the torch or adding something to it, it explains like, oh, this is a torch level one. You can access and this is does this, whatever. We all know what a torch is. I don't need an explanation as to what the torch does. Yes, some of the other ones, but I feel like it would have been handier rather than making it the image, the connection to like the help screen for a torch, a little little button at the top right make that the thing for adding so to add and buy something you have to add it you have to click add which and then click a plus button which adds it to the receipt you then buy it and click add again to add it to the 
truck. You would be you'd be better off having shop my inventory and mm-hmm. being able to drag things into like a truck section so you drag yeah. it from your inventory and then it's not in there anymore because you've used up all the ones you've got yeah. and just dragging it in so they're the separate uh, sections yeah the I main, the main says thing. Loadouts. We, we know there's loadouts but when you're brand new you don't have literally in one round we had 25 quid each you couldn't amalgamate the money between us yeah. to buy an extra torch so Pierce had another round with a torch on his own I'm pretty sure I gave up the torch both times and walked around with my glow stick very happily <laughs> um, but yeah the main thing for me which was what I was getting so angry about was I was adding things mm-hmm. and I didn't have them. I didn't have the equipment, but I was pressing the plus button mm. and there was a big shiny button that said add that I was yep. clicking and it was making the interaction like it was doing something and it wasn't. It, it should have been greyed out like the other buttons were, but well, I had to, to buy it first. Adding it to buy, yes. It no, it receipt. wasn't. No, it wasn't. Oof. Because there was a completely different button that said buy that was above it. So I was pressing the plus button to get like three torches. And then I was just, I had two options. There was buy or add. And I was like, well, I'm not going to buy them if I've already got them. So then I was just clicking add because it was glowing and nothing was happening. But I didn't know nothing was happening because it wasn't telling me what was in our inventory that I had added. So yeah, anyway. You can literally it was... say, like big red red, you don't have any torches. Yeah. That that would have corrected your issue straight away. You've you've not added any oh, Yeah, I mean it was it was a clusterfuck. Hopefully yeah, they're gonna really fix was. that very soon. Um but yeah, that was my main gripe with it, I think. Um, so to summarise guys, we didn't like the inventory yeah, control really in the it. game. Fuck, no, definitely you know, didn't. Yeah. Um also and, and, like it, you have to grind it out. So it, we're coming back to the level in here. We do. It takes so long to progress to any of the other interests and stuff. Like you have a camera, but you can't ha- set the two cameras up because you don't have a tripod. The tripod, I think, is level 15, 19. I'm pulling that number out of nowhere. I'm just saying that I you have to level up to get a tripod, which you used to be able to have right out the bat. You could have just bought it, had yep. set up the tripod. You don't have to go for all this faff with getting things. I could understand if they put it behind the paywall. You have to pay a lot of money to get to unlock it to then buy it. That would be fine, but leveling up's just a grind. You're, they, they just want you to grind for it, you know. Yeah, it just made the game difficult from the start. Whereas you want to be able to jump in, have some games with your mates, mm-hmm. be sort of scared. It's not. I'm, I don't yeah. get scared by it. And then. Yeah, normally, mate. Normally. No, you were solid as a rock the whole way that, through. You literally, uh, what what is it he always says? I'm so on edge. I'm so on edge. <laughs> Stop turning yeah. my lights out. <laughs> I, was, I really was losing my shit think, with you turning the lights out. I think the whole um, uh, ghost interaction with you isn't... As much as I like this and I don't like this at the same time, when the ghost actually kills you, it's not yeah. jumpy or scary. It's just like, oh... It, I feel yeah. like it would be, in that instance, better if it was a little bit jumpier and a little bit more, ooh, like... Yeah, it used to be. I think but... it's just like, it's literally hands coming in slowly from the side and wiggling yeah. the fingers at you. That's yeah. it. And then you, you on for everyone else watching you, you're choking yourself out and killing yourself. Whereas it'd be better if, like, say you turn around, it goes lunges at you. You know what I mean? And something happens then, you know what I mean? Like, that's how you die, like mm-hmm. a heart attack or something. Yeah, I think they could yeah. make it a little bit scarier because it, yeah. Yeah, it did seem a little bit dull. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, then, and then when, obviously, you've got the whole insanity side of things, and when yeah. your insanity is low, the ghost is more likely to come out, and I think yeah. at one point it, it becomes almost impossible to get back in the house, which I suppose adds a level of you've got to get a move on and solve this. But... um. It, it just it's more it's more like you you step in the house i think like yeah. for, when your sanity's super low it's you, like it's not impossible to get in if you're outside the ghost won't kill anything if the door is open it, it'll close the door say you even put a toe in and it starts hunting but you get out it'll then immediately stop because obviously no one's in the house so you'll never be locked out uh yeah but when you go in the house as soon as the ghost starts hunting the front door locks so you physically cannot leave um so yeah uh 
it, that made the game very difficult as well because it obviously took us a long time to figure out what ghost it was because we didn't have the equipment that we needed. So we had to sort of rule out everything else to figure out, oh, it's a, I don't know, poltergeist. It was a lot of guesses. We, like, we guessed a lot and never rate. got it. Yeah. You would only want to go one one right. And I, I didn't get it right because I didn't realise that each individual person has to do the journal themselves. I didn't. Re- I thought it was a group thing. You know, oh, Pierce is putting it in. I he'll he'll have that. We'll all get the guess right thing. No, I didn't because I didn't do it. You have to individually do it. I didn't know that on the first round through. So yeah, I got twenty five quid that first round. Couldn't even afford a torch. I mean, I there, I got the ghost right, and I still couldn't get a torch either. Yeah, so doesn't really matter. Which is weird. You'd think, uh, you know, first game in, wow, look, now you've unlocked this piece of equipment. Here's one for free or whatever. But no, we played, what, six games? Maybe five, five or six games. And six we still... Games were, what, two, two hours and a bit? Yeah, two and we, we still didn't unlock anything new. Yeah. We also couldn't buy anything new, really. I'd still, Did we even have four flashlights by the end of it? I'm pretty sure I was still going in without a flashlight at the I end. I think we'd only three. I stole yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just oh. ran and grabbed yours off the thing and ran off. I'm like, yeah. not letting yes. him have a torch. Mm. So we still couldn't get enough to be able to afford after two and a half hours of playing, just have a flashlight each. So yeah. I'm still walking around in the dark with the one glow stick we've got, <laughs> and it's just like it just uh, wasn't. Can I ask, oh. um, as you guys have played Phasmo before the update, yeah. um. Yeah. I can see a note here to say that um, the game was released for console very, very recently. Yeah. Has the update made it easier for console players? Is that what's happened? Do we think? I don't think so. I don't think, so. I don't, I don't honestly, think it would have been difficult on console before. Really? Like, it's not in like there's opinion, loads of buttons. In my opinion, adding a level progression is really just to add content without actually having to add a lot of content because you have to grind each level. It makes the game longer. You know what I mean? It makes the game last longer. You have to put more effort. Sorry, into I mean like the over. menu for the inventory and the shop and stuff. Do you think it's no. been made so it's no, no, God, no. That's not was it easy? Would it system. have been it console? Was, it would have been fine before. before. Yeah, it would have been mm. so much easier before. It yeah. literally like you just click buy, 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 adds it to the to the list of what you want to buy, and then you click buy underneath the receipt, and then you you get. You know what I mean? And then you could add it into the inventory. I'm sure there's plenty of people that will be watching this here and thinking, ah, but it's so much easier if you do this, this, this. We're basing it on, we haven't played it in ages. We haven't played it since the update. Um, This is our, us trying it out. I'd say pretty much brand new people to the game because obviously changing something is a massive content update. We, we're we brand new pretty much to the game again. Obviously mm. having hunted goes yeah. before, but you know. And I know you mentioned about the, the progression is adding content. That for me actually takes away from the game. I don't see Phasmophobia as a game that you can grind. I wouldn't go back to it day after day and yeah. try and go up. I see it as a party game that I'd maybe play mm. once a month. I don't say that that's progression in a good way. I'm saying, oh, that yeah, no, level. yeah, you've that's nothing what I'm else to add to the game, so you, you, you put a level system in, so it makes it. Oh yeah, they've got a level system, but it's not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a massive yeah. negative. Like, mm-hmm. it's a party game. I'd maybe pick up once a couple months or whatever. Yeah. But if I know that oh, I haven't got anything unlocked, it it makes yeah. me not want to pick it up because I don't want to grind the game. Yeah, you don't want to jump good enough. Random, so you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, it's not good enough to be able to grind the game. Oh. You sort of have to find someone who's who has grinded the game and then use all their equipment. That's if I'm saying if if you're brand new to the game find someone who's played it before has a hundred or whatever hours has all the equipment and can just show you the ropes i think that's the only way you're going to enjoy it may have to offer to join us he had 27k in the bank i was like i know we've said to raven we'll bring him in here but 27k makes a big difference with buying stuff (laughs) still don't think it actually would have made it fun yeah Um, i think by the sounds of it the the most relevant thing right here for the update is They've tried to fix something that wasn't broken, and they've made it worse. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully I, they'll maybe maybe that's the opinion of a lot of people. I gather yeah. from some of the uh, opinions of people that we've spoken to about it 
that a lot of people agree with us about about the changes and it's hopefully they'll revert back to the old ones yeah yeah um, I feel like it just puts a bit of a dampener on anyone brand new coming on to it. Mm. I don't, I don't know how you're meant to encourage to come into a game and instantly like have to start grinding that game if you're not have a don't have a group of friends that want to play it. You know, you're not going to play it a lot. You know what I mean? Like I, I know myself. I don't play like with randoms a lot because I, I like talking to people. You know what I mean? And most random lobbies, if there's voice chat enabled, people are just spouting off rubbish or someone's playing music that I don't need to hear. You know, as much as I enjoy the Venga Boys, I don't need to hear it on poor quality mics. It's all right, because yeah. the voice chat doesn't work anyway. Oh, yeah. um, is there any more points uh, that you guys want to get out, or should we get to the final questions? The game was ten ninety nine currently on Steam. Yeah. Would you be willing to pay it? I paid for it a, a number of years ago when I think it was worth it was probably worth that more a couple of years ago when I bought it. I don't know if I'd pay for it now. Yeah. Watching that same game, looking at that same game, I don't know if I'd pay like ten ninety nine because I I wouldn't feel like it was worth it. If if, I, if I that was a fair um, price. if there was like a trial run and I was downloading the demo, I mm -hmm. probably wouldn't spend eleven pound on 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 the full game to play it. No, again. but there's definitely games out there that cost thirty, forty, fifty pounds that are worse. So I think ten ninety nine is a a decent price for it. Mm. If they fix some of the issues they've got in an update in a month or so, then yeah, it's a good mm. price. I, I yeah. love the concept of the game, and I, I actually really part of me wants to give it another go. Where I, now that I understand it a little bit better, um, mm. but I just don't think I can do that while there's problems with the the, the audio and yeah. um, the fact that. I have to try and get play it so much to unlock those items. I just don't think yeah. I'm going to invest that much time in it. Well, what I would say as well is there's a lot of games that have a very similar premise to Phasmophobia that are out at the moment and mm -hmm. do actually look better. Even um, just for one. Exactly, yeah. I think yeah. there's a few. Um, so, yeah, that's sort of where they're at. They might have shot themselves in the foot and people might be jumping over to those games. I'd be much more inclined to go and play those. Mm -hmm. um but yeah okay so let's ask would you play it again <laughs> i would this time next year for halloween <laughs> yeah. once a year is when i would play this game never again um but being honest probably not no let's say unless there's a big change where they maybe don't they regress it they review it again i probably wouldn't play it again you know yeah. um i'd have to heavily review the patch notes I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I want to, I want to like it, but I just don't think it's, yeah. it's too clunky at the moment. Yeah. What about you, Pierce? Yeah, similar. I think I'm not itching to get back in and play it. I'm not going to say, hey, guys, do you want to play Faz next week? But if someone said to me in a month's time, oh, we're going to play Phasmophobia on whatever, if you want to jump in, I'd at I least consider it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, go on then. Yeah. But hey, I'm not not itching to get back into it. Um, what would you rate it out of ten? What would your ratings be? Mm, I no. I'd say maybe like a five. I I don't I think in terms of playability, if they fix some things, I could get into it and I could enjoy it. But there's that risk that they're not going to make any changes, and I don't know if I could play it as it is. Okay, fair enough. Pierce? Yeah, yeah, similar for me. As it stands, it's a four, I'd say. Okay. Um, the potential is still there, but they've just they've seemed to have gone back a few steps. So I'm going to give two ratings here, before and after this update. Because Ooh, I fancy. Like <laughs> mm, just give us your rating of where it is at the minute. <laughs> no, no, you get it. This, this is where it could have been, and this is where it was. All Sorry, we just take it out in the edit. Of it before. <laughs> um, I'll do, it, I'll do it right at the same time. I, I'm interested out. in seeing what you thought before because I didn't play it before. What did you think of it? I'm, I'm going to take my headphones off. I would, have been, I would have said seven or eight. I would have said seven or eight for the first one. I would probably say seven. Seven, it, it, it had ways to go. Early access, you know, it still had to progress. See, now I'd definitely give it a free. Like, it wouldn't be a question. I have no intention of playing again. The progression just annoys the hell out of me as it would in any game like that if there's no solid progression levels um 
you know, and just like the equipment, the the purchasing, I I just can't. No, I couldn't. Say, I couldn't rightly say it was a great enough game to go back to. Yeah, and I think see the thing is, I know a lot of people play Phasmophobia, and yeah. I guess this is for anyone listening that has played Phasmophobia that has played it before this new update do you share the same opinion as us or maybe you think we're wrong or whatever throw something in the comments or message us or whatever because i am actually really interested to see what everyone else thinks about it i know that phasmophobia has such a massive following um and we've just sat here and slagged it off for half an hour or whatever yeah <laughs> um so I, I'd nice it'd be nice to know our faces on dartboards <laughs> yeah but it'd be nice to know if we're not alone in this or yeah. like people are agreeing with us or maybe disagree but um yeah it'd be interesting to know yeah. any uh let's go to the lulls corner here any uh anticipated upcoming games or uh you might like this one Piers. actually i saw a very similar cozy little game that's like stardew valley now we did we did binge watch stardew valley uh a few months back um build our watch. own farm <laughs> sorry they good you said binge watch Binge play. Yeah. Okay, yeah. binge play. To be oh, fair, oh, you did just seem to watch me when I tended to the farm and you just sort of stood there with your watering can not doing anything. But that's okay. Like, don't worry about it. Crack on. Okay. Um, called Moonlight in Garland. It's going to be early access, um, but it looks very much, very similar. It's very, like, 2D. Um, it li- literally looks like another Stardew Valley, so that, that, sh- that could be interesting. <laughs> I might check it out. There's, yeah, there's so many sort of Stardew Valley like games, but mm. I'll um, I'll have a look. Thank you, thank you for the heads up. I hadn't actually heard of it to be fair. Uh, another one would be Total War, the Total War Pharaoh, which is like the latest progression of Total War series. Um, the same way as like they've done Total War Free Kingdoms, Total War, uh, I think it was Free, like Free Empires or something, but basically it was set in Britonia. Um, and they recently released DLC for their Total Warhammer Warhammer Free uh, series as well. But Pharaoh's the latest game standalone that's coming out. What is Total War? Is it like uh, Civilization Mountain. and Age of Empires? Yes, uh, it is like Civilization in that you build up an economy, you build up like on a massive map scale, a bit like Crusader Kings, that. but then you have in depth battles where you have massive armies clashing uh, I think you can have up to 40 different units, each unit has about 100 people to 200 people and stuff now obviously with Warhammer the Warhammer version of it you have mega monsters, magic, everything like that as well, but it's basically like a historical events and battles so I would say Pharaohs will be taking place obviously in the time of Pharaohs and you'll have like Pharaohs themselves fighting units at that time and just how they would fight I love Total Warhammer uh, Rome too. It was great. Game. Yeah, I, I completely zoned out. So great. <laughs> sounds... Someone asked the question. You asked. Yeah, sounds but, super... but remember when we uh, we we had a phase where we were playing Age of Empires four, and Piers yeah. was the quickest person to get bored of it and leave, whereas oh. me and Bells were still playing it for weeks on on end. Oh, yeah, I love I love over games. and over again. Games me are too. Definitely like one of my things. Like. Um, so another game I can see on the list is Agatha Christie Murder on the <laughs> Orient Express. Do we? What's that? Did you put that? You look smug. Yeah, I put that on the list because I, you know me, I love a puzzle detective game, and I've more put this on the list because it will remind me that this game is coming out soon, and I want to give it a try. It doesn't say how much though, and it does look maybe a little bit. I don't know how involved, and it looks a bit basic to be honest. So I don't if it's going to be any more than kind of four or five pound i probably won't buy it but we'll mm-hmm. see we'll see is it, is it co-op or single player single player oh, that's crap then yeah um okay <laughs> so have you guys been playing anything else this week uh i've been playing Fortnite 84 i've been playing farming sim i've been playing what did i play on wednesday I played something else on wednesday i'm not sure you played oh, phasmophobia play, you on Wednesday. Phasmophobia on Wednesday. Wow, very forgettable. <laughs> See, guys. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, yeah. Uh, Lowe's, what have you been playing? Um, I have surprisingly been playing Call of Duty again, uh, Warzone, uh, which Ew. is all oh, right. Uh, which is 
quite a surprise to be honest. Of uh, I'll see how long this phase lasts. Usually, I last a, a couple of weeks, and then I don't play it again for a long time. What about you, Very Piers? Well, yeah. Now we're touching on the the Call of Duty um, thing. Uh, it's been announced that Rebirth is coming back, right? So I might get into it then, but it's not until next year. I didn't even know that. Rebirth's actually coming back? Yeah, they're yeah. bringing back Rebirth. And the new Definitely proper Warzone map, apparently, it giving off Verdansk vibes. So mm. I'll see what the movement's like. If it goes back to how the movement was when Rebirth and Verdansk was out, I'm in. Uh, but mm. if it stays how it is, I'm not bothered because it's just milk turns quicker than the characters in that game. <laughs> you don't like the dolphin diving? It's, it's, yeah, it's just, it just feels really slow and clunky. Mm. I feel like I'm carrying weights, which is you guys when I play on your team. Oh, <laughs> um, ha, 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 ha. Get some yeah, original no, I... content, Piers. <laughs> hurtful. Um, oh, yeah, boo-hoo. Uh, boo-hoo. Um, yeah, I've really just been playing EAFC again. Um, I'm looking at my screen as well, and I've realised I've downloaded Counter-Strike 2. Which came mm. out last week, and we didn't we didn't pick up that it was getting released. I don't think many people did, so uh, I need to give that a go this week. Mm. Is it is it free? Yep. yep. It's may, free on Steam. I, I may give game. that a go then. All right, we'll have to give it a bash. Speaking of what games we're playing next week, we um, I don't think we've decided a game for uh, next week, but it's going to be horror themed again, as we mentioned. It's it's spooky season, so. Um, we're gonna we're gonna crack on and, and play some more horror games unless you two have decided without me. But I, I'm easy either way. We would never do that own, in our own separate chat that we don't include you. In. I'm the life and soul of this. It's, a, it's got a symbol of just no pierces allowed. On it. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back next week with another podcast on a game that we haven't decided yet. So <laughs> come and find out what it is. Thank you all for coming. Lols. No, don't you dare take oh, Lols. You know, you know, you so know how much this means to her. Lols, hit us, hit us with the brand new outro that you've been working on all week and you've been so excited to deliver. Go. I always think of something until the pressure is on of you guys staring at me while I try and do this. But anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode of the uh, Petty Foggers podcast. We are lolling lolling tongs cheers for peers and bells of steel and we will be back next week with i don't know what game but we'll be back next week with a review of another horror game or spooky game and we'll see you then bye guys short and concise i love it yeah. Solid.